Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a bit different because a lot of people have been asking for this over almost a year now. And I finally got my mind to it and I thought, how do I share it? And that's the way of doing it. So watch the video. I share the project that I used for teaching on my channel, the PID controls or closed loop controls, whatever you want to call it. I'm sharing this tank system simulation for you. Um, there's a link in the description below. You can download it there. Uh, if you click the link, you will be guided to my OneDrive and there it will just say, hey, download or something. You hit download and that is the Zap Archive. It's the archive project, this one here. It's just one file. You have that downloaded and in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to work with the simulation. It's pretty simple actually. Uh, going to project view here and uh, project and there we have retrieve. The thing is, I do only have this simulation for version 15.1. Right? So you have to have Tia Portal version 15.1 installed and one or two plugins like PLC Zim and the WinCC runtime. Tia Portal will tell you if you don't have the correct versions. <laughs> uh, you go there, you go retrieve. I have version 15.1 active here. Um, and then we will, I will just create a new folder here on my desktop. Uh, well, simulation here. Uh, you select the simulation that you just downloaded. You click on open and then you select the folder where you want to download, uh, where you want to open it to. I just create a new folder on the desktop simulation here. And there we go. This is gonna take one or two minutes and now it will tell you if you do not have the correct packages installed um, or do you, if you not, do not have the correct version, you would have to get the right version. I'm sorry for this. Uh, it would be a lot of effort for me to upgrade this to another version or downgrading it is actually worse. <clears throat> so there we go. That's the full project. What you can do with this or what you cannot do with this, if you go to program blocks, uh, you cannot open the blocks. They are know-how protected because I put some effort in there. It is like, and it's not all perfect. I don't want everyone to see it actually. That's why it's more protected, but also because I put a lot of effort in there and I don't want to share that exactly as it is. So the program will look like this. The only thing that you can open is the cyclic interrupt PID, this one here. And this is the one that has the PID block in it. And you can, of course, configure this block and you can also uh, commission this block you can change all the parameters. You can change everything for the PID controls here. I've shown that in one of the previous videos. Check out the little exclamation mark on the top right or my channel uh, search for PID controls. I think I called it something like that or PID compact program. Yeah. What you need to do to run the simulation is actually pretty simple. You select the controller, you click on start simulation. For this, you have to have PLC Zim installed. PLC Zim, PLC Zim adva uh, advanced will also work. A real physical PLC also works if you download it there. Also fine. I recommend PLC Zim. I download, I load. And now the whole simulation is inside the simulation, PLC Zim. So I don't need this anymore. Don't close it. That would be kind of silly. Uh, you can minimize it or just push it to another screen. I've got three screens, so I'll just put it to the side. Next thing is we need the tank system and the tank system is hidden inside the, inside the so-called system view, which is a PC station. This PC station is, um, this PC station is running a WinCC. Right, so you can open it. You can also change the screen. You can change the layout. If you go in here, there's screens. You can change the layout. Like all that is not know how protected. I don't care if you want to mess with it, how it looks like the colors, positioning, new stuff on there, up to you. That's how, if you know how HMIs work. <laughs> what you only need to do in order to run the simulation is you just select the PC, the system view here, and you click on start a runtime on PC or simulation, both works depending on your setup, of course, in my setup, because I'm simulating everything, both works. <clears throat> this will start the WinCC runtime. Of course, you need to have WinCC runtime installed. There we go, WinCC runtime advanced in my case. There we go. That is the system. You don't need Tia Portal from now on. 
and everything else you can do in this system. Uh, let me zoom in. Should I zoom in? Let me, let me zoom in. And zoom in a little bit more. Here we go. Ain't that pretty? So in this simulation, right, I showed it in some of my videos. I think this is a newer version. So there's a lot of features for you to play around with. Um, if you're a teacher, you can just grab that and toss it to your students. Uh, please first verify if it meets your demands. I put in some effort, it's, but it's not perfect. That's why I don't share the source code. Uh, what you can do here is the following. You have on the top here as um, a dropdown that will leave, let you select from four different modes. The manual mode is pretty simple. Manual mode is pretty simple. You have just a slider here on top. <clears throat> and you see in the graph, if I zoom in, there's a this little, what was it called? Magnifying glass that will let you zoom in. You see the red bar is always the opening of your valve. Right now it's at 20%. Right, that's 20%. If I put it to 50, you will see the red bar goes to 50. The black line, this is your current tank level and also the tank level from some time ago. As you can see here, it's the trend, right? The so-called trend. Um, and you can also see the tank level here on the left side. The blue one right now it's filled 100%. If I close the valve a little bit more, you will see water also gets out of the tank. So it also drains. <clears throat> Yeah, and you see this is always the same level right now. It's seven. It was seven here as well. So this is showing you the correct past and present. Yeah, if you want to have more outflow out of the tank, you have a so-called outflow here. Uh, the standard here is 5% per second, meaning if you have 10 liters, you will lose 50 milliliters. So 5% of that 10 liters per second, right? If I put this to 50, we will lose 50% of the tank per second. So if it would be full, that would be five liters. If it is now, you see, of course, well, it's percentual, so it's not linear, uh, of course, that's how it is. A standard, like, is probably some percent or so. That's just how much do you tank, uh, take out of the flat, uh, tank. The next thing, just quickly explaining everything to you, if I fill in the tank here a little bit more, uh, you will see the so-called random disturbance. And the random, random disturbance is someone is taking a random amount out of the tank. You can see it's not a, the, the fill level is not a straight line anymore. Someone is taking out a little bit more, a little bit less, like, like it's, it's fluctuating, right? That's a fluctuation, a simulation of fluctuation. Pretty nice for lessons. With this, you can test if your controller actually works. Uh, you can select weak, medium, strong. A strong one is actually really strong in this case. But I'll usually turn that off. And the last one that we have is the so-called idle time. Uh, this one you can set from one millisecond. Don't set that to zero milliseconds. You can't because, it, well, you see, that's what it is. Uh, it always goes back to at least one millisecond. Um, the idle time, just from controllers, if we talk about controllers and uh, control elements, if you turn on a motor or a pump, it's not immediately on. There is some delay, it slowly ramps up, and that's the idle time here. Right now, the pump would take one millisecond to turn fully on, which is not real. Like a pump takes maybe 500 milliseconds, right? Maybe takes 500 milliseconds. Um, yeah, especially important, for example, in the on off control. If I go on off and I want to go to, let's say, five liters, you will see we have those overshoots. Right, we are like oscillating, and this is because we have the 500 milliseconds. If I would just have like one millisecond, we would pretty much be stuck there because the pump would full on, full on, off, full on, full off. That's not real. That doesn't exist in real exist in reality. That's maybe 1,000. The pump is more on and less on, more on, less on. Idle time. There we go. You can play around with this. Then the next we have uh, is just an on off controller with a hysteresis. We can just set here, for example, 0 0.5, whoops, 0 0.5 liters. Ah, 0 0.5 liters. Um, and now we're not exactly at five liters anymore. We are between 4.5 and 5.5. So a hysteresis, just giving it a little bit of tolerance, right? So that this stuff that has happened here in the beginning should not happen. There we go. I explained that in previous videos, but you can set that here. And of course, the masterclass, we've got the PID controller. Right? 
we have got the PID controller. By, by the way, with empty tank, you can empty the tank. Who would have guessed? Um, this PID controller, you can just set up pretty simple. Actually, you have the set point and you can play around with the proportional gain, the, um, the reset time, the so-called, and the derivative time. Uh, it is a PID controller, a multiplicative, so you always have to have a proportional gain. If you set anything else here, nothing is going to happen. The integral sum will summarize, yeah, but nothing in your tank will happen. Um, you will have to have some proportional gain. Whatever that is, I explained in the previous video. But you see, as soon as, soon as you turn on the proportional gain, something happens here. Let's say this is 2 or something. Uh, this is, I don't know, 1 again. You see, you can play around with these values. You can find out, you can just play around with the simulation a little bit. It's a present I'm giving to you because I couldn't make a video the previous Thursday. Sorry for this, I needed a break. I will probably also skip one or two videos in the near future because I have a lot of work to do, especially the upcoming two weeks. I will notify you in with my on my YouTube channel. Well, this looks nice. I love these curves. I love this. I, I love this. <laughs> um, yeah, I will let you know, uh, but I'll be there. Don't worry. Uh, but this is for you like a, what do you, a reimbursement gift? A sorry gift from my side because I couldn't upload because <laughs> I didn't feel like actually, but yeah, nice graphs. I love these. Good. Link for this simulation software is of course in the a link in the description below. What is also in the description below is a link to my GoFundMe, right? That has not been used too much recently, which is perfectly fine because it's not mandatory. There we go. Thanks, Jinan Wu. If you want to toss some coin in my direction, link in the description below. That'd be fantastic. Um, if you have some questions, the best would be to go to the forum that we've set up. There we go, forum. And there's a lot of guys talking in the forum and it's, it's lively here. Great, all in the description below. All that's left for me to do is wish you a nice day. Stay safe, stay healthy, have fun playing with this. It's only version 15.1. Sorry for this, you can set it up. If you definitely need it in another version, let me know in the description, not in the description below, but in the comments below. If there's like hundreds of people that say, hey, I need it in version 15 or 16, I, will, I can transform it, of course, but you will have to let me know in the comments below look at this nice graph if you look from a controls perspective that those are really nice graphs actually <laughs> i'm just fascinated by by this simulation because i haven't used it in, in a month or uh, in a year or so good uh yeah thank you for watching have a safe day stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you around next time definitely next time don't know when it is but i'll let you know bye bye